tutorial, I will show you how to control your keyboard with an iPad for live performances. At first you need the USB cable and the camera kit to make the connection. If your keyboard doesn't support uh, USB MIDI, you can uh, use this cable. Uh, this cable is uh, USB to MIDI in and MIDI out. Uh, in this case, you will have to connect uh, MIDI in and MIDI out to your keyboard. Uh, whatever keyboard you have, uh, you can do this trick if it has a combination mode with multiple channels, uh, MIDI channel. As you see, as you see here, I'm in the combination mode. Uh, I have already select uh, some sounds and I assign them to different MIDI channels. Here, uh, MIDI channels 2 through 16, okay? Not channel 1. Okay, now, uh, we, I will use uh, one of my favorite apps in the App Store, uh, Sandbox. Okay, I will op, uh, a new, open a new project, empty. As you see, it's a uh, full customized app. Okay, now I will uh, load Multisynth. Okay, I double click and I choose Multisynth. Okay, I will open. 15 uh, multi scenes, one for its channel. Okay, now I double click inside the box <coughs> and uh, here's the little window, you see MIDI out, if you press here MIDI out, uh, you see my keyboard, Core Kronos, Kronos sound, whatever keyboard you, uh, you have. Uh, here you will see the name. So you choose Chrono Sound and MIDI Channel 2. I do the same in uh, the other uh, box, the other movie scenes I open. Chrono Sound in Channel 3. Chrono Sound in Channel 4. Okay. You don't have uh, double click again and again and press close. You just click the windows, click the boxes while this window this window is open. Seven, eight. Box it will trigger uh, the 
one channel of uh, my keyboard. So I choose box one. I can hear MIDI channel two in my keyboard. Choose MIDI channel two, uh, box two, MIDI channel three, okay. Hammond, strings. This is uh, the drum pattern. And an effect. Okay. This uh, app uh, has a smooth transition between the sounds, between the midi channels. Okay. What does it mean? It means that. When you play this sound, this midi channel, if I choose another, there's no gap. Okay. And what? <coughs> and while I hold down this note, I can choose whatever I want. Okay. With zero gap. Okay, now um, I load another multi synth. If I want to separate those uh, those channels, those sounds into groups, okay, I choose these channels. I connected them. I connect them to my multi synth. Now, when I'm choosing this multi-synth, I have all these sounds playing together. Okay, load another multi-synth, make another group. And those sounds are playing together. smooth transitions and another one multi synth with those sounds with my pattern in each of these uh, boxes I can connect it uh, with uh, every box I want because all uh, are multi synths. Okay, for example, I choose this box and I connect with this. And I can hear these two sounds. If I choose my multi synth here, then I will hear all these sounds plus this sound. Okay. You can do amazing combinations, for example. Okay, you can do whatever you want with uh, the sound of your keyboard. Um, and one last multi synth for all of them. Okay. Double click in this box can adjust the color and the size of the box. I prefer biggest size, bigger size for my multi synths here. So I can separate them easy up in live performance, okay? Of course, you can rename this movie scene. Okay.
you can do splits here I will choose this and uh, I can do here is the velocity curve I can do split and uh, adjust the velocity of uh, all of this group of sounds all together for example you see here you see the note and you see the velocity curve and you just you can do a lot of thing here Okay. Okay, thanks for watching guys. Uh, that's the way I like uh, control my keyboard in live performance. Uh, hope to was helpful for you. I'll do another tutorial for Sandbox App and uh, in my next video I will show you how to um, I will show you how to control multiple keyboards with uh, one iPad Thanks for watching guys, sorry for my English I uh, hope to see you next time